Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I'm your host, Bastion. Let's get on to some Nintendo news. First up, uh, I always want to try to get these things out to you guys in time, but I never covered them um, because by the time you'll see the video, the deal will have already passed, but um, Target has a pretty awesome deal happening soon. Uh, not this week, but next weekend it starts, where if you buy two Wii U games, you get the third free. That's pretty awesome. I mean, that's that would definitely work out for me since I there have been so many Wii U games I've been wanting to buy but haven't gotten around to yet. So that's pretty awesome. It starts on September 22nd, so right after those big fancy uh, Zelda Wii U bundles come out too. There's been a bit of backlash regarding the Wii U's virtual console playing of NES games. A lot of people are saying that a bizarre filter is applied that makes the game look blurry, and I haven't personally seen it myself. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I have. When I was playing Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link, I noticed it's not crisp or clear like pixels that you would think would be. It is kind of blurry. Well, thankfully, somebody figured out a way to eliminate that process. Unfortunately, it is a case-by-case -case sort of thing. You'll if you're going to be playing a virtual console game and then the next hour playing an actual Wii U game, you're going to have to go through a bit of a process. But if you know that for the next week or whatever, all you're going to be doing is playing that virtual console game, then this uh, method will work for you because it is several steps involved. If you want to learn how to do that, there's a link for you down below. Our next bit of news comes from Digino Gaming, and it's about Kirby's Epic Yarn. And what they do is they point out a commercial uh, way before Kirby's Epic Yarn, several games before Kirby's Epic Yarn, that shows Yarn Kirby. And they say, oh, see, this is where they got their idea uh, for Kirby's Epic Yarn. Now, that is interesting, for sure, and maybe this does actually have something to do with it, but... What they're forgetting is that Kirby's Epic Yarn originally had nothing to do with Kirby whatsoever. Uh, you'll know that in Kirby's Epic Yarn there's that secondary character that you can play as. I'm forgetting what his name is, but Prince something. He's like the prince of that yarn world or whatever. And that character, the, the Kirby's Epic Yarn was originally all about that character. It had a completely different name, Kirby wasn't in it at all, and then... After that was well into development, uh, somebody in Nintendo said, well, actually, this should be a Kirby game. So then they went ahead and shoved Kirby and such into it. Um, what's interesting about this is that, you know, maybe maybe the, that team creating this game about this completely separate character was inspired by that Kirby commercial, maybe, but I think Digital you know Gaming is wrong. and. Uh, that's why I always feel like you kind of kind of take stuff sometimes that Digino you know Gaming says with a little bit of grain of salt because um, things like this come along. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Nintendo News. See you guys tomorrow for some Zelda news. Bye, guys.